Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be configuring floating static routes. Um, floating static routes are used sometimes when uh, your dynamic routing protocols uh, might fail in the network. Um, what you can do is set your administrative distance uh, higher on a floating static route than your dynamic routing protocol. That way it doesn't get chosen and added to the routing table as the best uh, the best route until you know the dynamic routing protocol uh, learned route gets flushed out. So we'll go ahead and uh, do this real fast here. All right, say I have two routers here. Router 0 and router 1, and um, what I'm going to do is behind router 1, I'm going to have the loopback 0 is going to be just uh, 192.168.1.0 slash 24. And what I'm going to do is uh, show basically two different connections to uh, two from router 0 to router 1. What we're going to do is we're going to have a point to point serial link right between them, and then we're going to have a backup. I'm sorry, that's going to be the backup, and what we're going to do is for the main connection, we're going to have a fast Ethernet between them. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run, uh, let's just pick a protocol, let's just pick a uh, EIGRP for our dynamic routing protocol. Okay, um, the switch network over the fast Ethernet's going to be dot zero. I'm sorry, the two network. 172.16.2.0. And the serial point to point link is going to be 172.16.1.0. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to set this up and I'm going to show you some debug commands and uh, uh, some other things so you can actually see uh, what's going on in the routing tables and figure out what's going on in the router uh, when these routes are lost. So again, router 0 and router 1, um, they're going to be running We'll just say here the point to point link. This is the floating floating static route over this serial link and then over the fast Ethernet connection we're gonna be running a uh, EIGRP. So, of course, you know, your fast Ethernet, this connection here is 100 meg, and this serial is uh, just a T1, it's a 1.5 meg. So, we're going to use the primary via the fast Ethernet running EIGRP, but if that fails, 
if one of the links are broken and goes down, what we can do is uh, use a floating static route to um, continue the, uh, you know, for redundancy, we can configure a floating static route and make that um, come to uh, come to work here. One that when our EIGRP network fails. <clears throat> so let's get on the router zero and start configuring it. Start both routers here. 